minute. Michelle, you called the program because instead of enjoying your newlywed bliss, you have some marital problems already? That's correct, Sally. What are they? You said you think he is cheating on you? Yes, I do. When um, did the suspicions first occur? Roughly three months ago, um, when we were recently married, um, I called his voicemail and I put his access code in. I was kind of like snooping around and I put in his birth date for the access code and there were women on his voicemail. What happened in the beginning of your marriage? You had somebody who was uh, living with you? Right, my best friend was living with me. She was living with me for a year before I even met Vince. She was helping me out with my 10 year old son, James. Um, I asked him if it would be okay after we purchased our house if she could move in with us. Because I'm not going to let my girlfriend, my best friend, get stranded, be left alone out on her own. Okay. So he agreed to that. And she moved in, and them two just clashed like a dog and a cat. Totally going at it. Um, he threw a pop can at her one, one evening as they were fighting, so I told him to get the hell out of the house. When he left, he didn't leave for just one day, nor two. He came back three days later. Where was he? He said that he was at his sister's house. <laughs> but um, And then he said something that I think is very unfair. What did he say? He, t he told me that he was with his convenient horse sex call. This girl... It was somebody who was there at his convenience. He'd pick up the pay phone, call her. She'd say, I'd leave the side door open. And he'd go over there, screw her, and then leave. <laughs> but anyway... Yet he told you nothing happened between them, that they only talked. He told me that they drove to Pontiac Airport and back talking about my marriage. It's not, it's not I her business. I understand you actually called the former convenience Oh, yes. And on the phone, what happened? Well, actually, she had called me to talk to him. And when I answered the phone, she hung up on me. So I have star six nine. It's where it automatically dials back to the phone. She kept picking it up, hanging up on me, picking up, hanging up on me. Finally, the answering machine at her house turned on. And I said, listen, you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's be a little careful with the light. In the meantime, the ex-girlfriend called the police yeah. and charged you with harassment for calling her back. Right. right. She took the tape of me on her tape order um, to the police department and filed a complaint on me saying that I was harassing her when all I was doing was calling back to find out who hung up on me. Okay. You told us one time you were arguing with your husband, Vince, and things got out of hand. Right. Like what happened? Um, we were, my, again, my girlfriend was over. She already moved out because she was causing problems between my husband and I, so I asked her politely if she would leave, and she did. Um, Vincent, my friend and I were downstairs fixing the pool table. Vincent came stumbling down the stairs, or running down the stairs, and he just started going ballistic, throwing um, nails at my friend, just going ballistic. So again, I told him to get the hell out of the house, my friend and I went up to the payphone, dialed 911, the police came, took him to jail, and then he calls their again. He calls the from the jail. What is it that you, what is it you want to know? I want to know if he has been sleeping with this If you find out that he has, what are you going to do? I'm going to cut his penis off and then divorce him. during your marriage. Heard me? Have you cheated on her during your marriage? No, I have not. Uh, I think we're all wondering 
if you're a married man, you're supposed to be faithful to her. Why have you been calling the ex-girlfriend? <laughs> Just the question. I've called the ex-girlfriends. I don't have a whole lot of friends anymore because I've dedicated myself to her. But Go ahead. I can't talk to her about our problems, so I talk to my friends. Let's be fair to this. Vince, you seem very sure of this, and I, I think that somebody sure should have the benefit of the doubt. We're going to have Michael Martin, our lie detector expert, uh, escort Vince, and he's going to take a lie detector test, and then uh, the results will be revealed at the end of the program. He's very, very angry. First of all, have you bought your first set of steak knives yet? Um, I have one prepared. Well, then I think, then let me then suggest to her husband that you start sleeping on your stomach. Because what she just said she's going to do, this is... You ain't my God. This you is, don't wait, say what yeah, my judgment is. This is the problem. This is, the, is this the way you argue? Hold it. Is this the way you, the two of you argue at home? Yeah. With the screaming and the yelling? Do you realize that nothing can be resolved this yell way? over this crowd. Excuse me, but now we're here, now we're quieter on the stage. Is this the way you communicate? Well, you better not put no. your hand on my leg or she'll construe it as cheating. No. I Listen to me. Listen to me. Both of you. Listen to me. Both of you. Both of you. Look, Michelle. What? Look, look, look. Here. What? Huh? You're what? pathetic. No, you, you are. You know that she gets very upset when you run off and you have this kind of a crazy argument and you run off and you call a girlfriend. Right. You're hitting her hot buttons. So what do you, I mean, you don't need to be a brain surgeon to figure this out. What must you do then? to get her to calm down and to start the marital communication going again. What must you do? Do you think you could figure this one out? I think we need some uh, marriage counseling. Okay, but first and foremost, who, to whomever you go, you must understand that you're not going to sit in any doctor's office screaming and yelling like this and thinking that something good is going to come of it. This is not the way to start. The way to start is for her to, you have got to be quieter about how you're feeling. Yes, voice your feelings, but let him know so that he can hear you and don't respond by screaming. Don't respond with steak knives. I mean, we must, we're trying to save whatever you have still left, okay? If you can't say to your man that you trust them, then something is very wrong in that relationship. We'll be right back. Uh, you, you, you have passed the test. <gasps> just because their lights are so pathetic it's ridiculous. let us say but you're not going to continue communicating and think that everything is going to Michelle get and Vince have gotten closer since the lie detector test proved he hadn't cheated on her she no longer threatens to cut off his private parts and he no longer feels he has to call his ex-girlfriends Michelle and Vince are both in counseling and believe their marriage will last forever